So ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, gather here today in this beautiful place on this day, the 6th of September in the year 2023, to celebrate the love and union of Darby Desapio yes. and Connor Willie. It's a day filled with excitement and joy, made even more special by the fact that we're here at the Butterfly Conservatory of Key West. Yes. We gather to witness and cherish the love these two incredible souls share and to create lasting memories with them together. Darby and Connor have chosen to marry in the presence of their closest loved ones, surrounded by the beauty of Key West and the magic of this butterfly conservatory. It's a testament to the depth of their love and commitment to one another. They are two of the most easygoing and easy to communicate with people you'll ever meet. Their love is a beacon of serenity and calm, and today, we're here to ensure their wedding day is just as smooth and breezy as they are. Please. <laughs> Before we proceed, let us take a moment to reflect on the extraordinary love story that has brought Darby and Connor to this moment. Their journey began with a shared glance, and from that moment on, their love has grown stronger, only stronger. They are a perfect example of true love, respect, and devotion to one another. Their love has been a guiding light in their lives, leading them to this beautiful moment. And now, Connor, as you look into Darby's lovely eyes, please repeat after me. Here we go. My beloved Darby. My beloved Darby. Today I take you to be my best friend. Today I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise to encourage you. I promise to encourage you. And inspire you. And inspire you. And to love you truly. And to love you truly. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. I will forever be there. I will forever be there. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To lift you up. To lift you up. When you were down. When you are down. And to love <laughs> you. Yeah. And to love you. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Through all of our adventures. Through all of our adventures. In life. In life. Together. Together. Yeah. Yeah. Me too, this is actually happening. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And Darby is looking to Connor's eyes. Please yes. repeat. My beloved Connor. My beloved Connor. Today I take you to be my best friend. Today I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my one true love. My one true love. I promise to encourage you. I promise to encourage you. And inspire you. And inspire you. And to love you truly. <laughs> and to love you truly. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. I will forever be there. I will forever be there. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To lift you up. To lift you up. When you were down. When you were down. And to love you. And to love you. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Through all of our adventures. Through all of our adventures. In life. In life. Mm -hmm. Together. Together. Yeah, thank you. So back in 1926, Ernest Hemingway was completing a farewell to arms here in Key West. In a farewell to arms, he writes about love. This was written about eight blocks from here. At night, there was the feeling that we had come home, feeling no longer alone waking in the night to find the other one there and not gone away. All other things were unreal. We slept when we were tired, and when we woke, the other one woke too, so no one was alone. Okay. Often a man wishes to be alone, and a woman wishes to be alone too. And if they love each other, they are jealous of that in each other. I can truly say that we never felt that. We could feel alone when we were together alone against the others. We were never lonely or never afraid when we were together. Okay. That, so Darby and Connor, the exchanging of these rings today symbolizes your love for each other, which knows no end, just as the circle in these rings has no end. So may they now today be blessed as a symbol of your unity and love. So Connor, if you'd please take Darby's ring and place it on her finger and repeat after me. You got it, my buddy. beloved Darby. My beloved Darby. 
With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. In love and truth. In love and truth. As the circle of this ring knows no end. As the circle of this ring knows no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Wear this ring as a symbol. Wear this ring as a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. Well. Well done, Connor. It was sweaty. Easy. Very sweaty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it slips right on. And Darby, please take Connor's ring, place it on his finger, and also repeat. Yes. My beloved Connor. My beloved Connor. With this ring, with I this, thee wed. Oh, sorry. With this ring, I thee wed. In love and truth. In love and in truth. As the circle of this ring knows no end. As the circle of this ring knows no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Wear this ring as a symbol. Wear this ring as a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. I do. So may these rings serve as a constant reminder of your love and commitment to one another. I'd also like to share this with you. This is from um, the poet Pablo Neruda. In Sonnet 17, he writes about love. I do not love you as if you were salt rose or topaz or the arrow of carnations the fire shoots off. I love you as certain dark things are to be loved in secret between the shadow and the soul. I love you as the plant that never blooms but carries in itself the light of hidden flowers. Thanks to your love, a certain solid fragrance, risen from the earth, lives darkly in my body. I love you without knowing how or when or from where. I love you straightforwardly without complexities or pride. So I love you because I know no other way than this, where I does not exist, nor you. So close that your hand on my chest is my hand, so close that your eyes close as I fall asleep. Pablo Neruda. Beautiful. And now, Connor, I have a very important question to ask you. Okay. It's not going to be what well, you're going to have at two friends later. Okay. <laughs> so as you look into Darby's eyes, Connor, do you take Darby, who stands before you today, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, and to keep yourself, Connor, only unto Darby? I do. <laughs> so Darby, as you look into Connor's eyes, you, Darby, take Connor, who stands patiently before you today, to be your lawfully wedded husband, yes, to I live do. together in matrimony, <laughs> and to keep yourself, Darby, only onto Connor. Yes, I do. So I got you a double I do there. So yes. Like, see. So we're good, right? I couldn't yeah, wait. Yeah. Okay, in closing, I'm going to share this with you. This is very important. As you look into each other's eyes, this is from E.E. E. Cummings. He writes about love, I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear, and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant. And whatever a son will always sing is you. Okay. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. E. E. Cummings. By the gracious power of the love that you two clearly have, it brings great joy to now pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss. This is a conch shell blessing.
Perfect, guys. Awesome.